if you participate with me, we'll get out of here sooner. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny, so much for the invitation. Uh, to all of my sister colleagues who have come before me with your true, great stories, amazing stories, they were just awesome. And I applaud you. So let's give a round of applause. God is always at the forefront of whatever uh, I do. So get out your notepads and pencil. I need you to take a note. Get your phone out, whatever you have. I need you to take some notes. All of us share a message of hope and encouragement. And although we represent true grit, believe me when I say, that none of us are perfect. We still go through some things. We have to lean on our closest confidence. Every day, we try to keep people that are positive around us and the naysayers away from us. Life provides us with many, many experiences. Some lessons we learn from, and some we don't. Sometimes we must start over, begin again to get there. So point number one, write this down. From here to there, from here to there, if your here is the same here that it was last year, then you're stuck. If your here is the same here that it was last year, you're stuck when all of the signals and the signs and the roads are trying to take you there. Where is there? There is a place that you thought about, you dreamed about, you planned to achieve, but life changed your plans. Life issues caused me to change my plans. I took the scenic route. Do you all know what the scenic route is? If you know what the scenic route is, just wave your hand. Women, we are miraculously made. We work, we raise the children, we clean the house, we prepare dinner, can I get an amen? We go to the grocery store, we take the children to their games, piano recitals, we make doctor's appointments, we go to the doctor, they squeeze, <laughs> they cry, they stick up and they pull out. Do you all know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Say amen. amen. Some of us have been through divorce, abuse, the big word, cancer, the heartache, having the breast removed. We take care of our parents who are dealing with Alzheimer's. But through it all, we remind ourselves that we have an inner strength. We say to ourselves, I am true grit. Tell your neighbor, I am true grit. Say it like you mean it. Point number two, someone mentioned this earlier, let it go, just let it go. Yes, I was given up for adoption at the age of two, raised as an only child. I was 26 years old when my mother died. I was going through a difficult divorce. I had two young children. I felt distraught, I was alone, I was embarrassed, I was on welfare for about a year. My car wouldn't run. It would stop on me. I'd have to get the screwdriver out and raise the hood and hit the battery with the screwdriver. You want me to pour some cola on the battery? You all know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, say amen. Being an adopted child, I felt alone, I felt abandoned, I had low self-esteem.
16. Sometimes I thought about how confused I was until I sat down and realized that I needed some help. I needed to go talk to someone. I needed a therapist, a real counselor, a real psychologist. So don't ask your friend, can you talk to them, because they need a counselor too. <laughs> A lot of times, we hide the hurt, we hide the pain. We have issues that we need to deal with every day. Some of us are married 10, 15, 20 years in this big old beautiful house, and you sleep in separate rooms. Sometimes you don't talk to each other. I know I'm telling the truth, amen. <laughs> you don't have to say it, don't look at your husband. So my word to you today is to accept the past, forgive and be healed, then live and be empowered to overcome life's obstacles. Let it go. We doubt ourselves. We stay in abusive relationships when we need to come out. Point number three, it's never too late. Go back to school. Write the book. Open that business, buy that business. You see, I took the scenic route. I was 26 years old when I was hired at Purdue University Calumet at that time. I began working for a director called Sue Panther. Sue Panther was this little white woman with all this blonde hair. She would remind you of Fair Fawcett. Do you all remember Fair Fawcett? <laughs> When I talk to the teenagers, they say, ooh. <laughs> Charlie's Angels, they say, ooh. But anyway, <laughs> Sue Panther held my hand, and she understood where I was. I was hurt, I was distraught, but she hired me as her secretary. And when I think about Sue, I still get emotional because she saved my life. We may stumble and fall, but we get up. And sometimes we get up because our sister helps us up. Our sister lives with no judgment, with no criticism. Sometimes it's your sister that holds your hand. Point number four, let's speak up and speak out. Our world is plagued with negativity, with racism, hatred, hate crimes against black, Asian, minority, brown people. We see it all the time. I have to have conversations with my grandson, my granddaughter, driving while black. Every day I'm concerned about my child. That's really a true grit experience that some of you may not understand. You may not have had to have those types of conversations with yours, but I hope that you are sensitive and understanding to what sometimes we as mothers and grandmothers have to go through. So I need your voice as an advocate. Those of you who are not afraid to speak up against the isms, the racisms, the sexisms. So I ask that you stand as an ally and an advocate and work along with us, all of us, to speak up and speak out. The Urban League of Northwest Indiana we provide diversity and inclusion, awareness, training, and a safe space. It's time that we have these types of conversations. It's time that we understand not just the 10%, but the 90% that's underneath. And the only way we can do that is to talk about it. So call me, write this down, 219-887-9621. We can have a courageous conversation about all of that. So coping with the responsibility
responsibilities, the insecurities that I felt, the pressures of raising children as a single parent, it was a true grit experience. Most of my strengths and independence, organization, my personality, my parents, my openness, my perseverance of love and family, of friends, colleagues, it comes from God. It's a spiritual connection. That's what it is. This is who I am. What you see is how I am. What I say is who I am. You can trust me, and I want to be able to trust you. Because I'm real. I'm authentic. I trust you, and I want you to trust me. So I pray and I ask God to encourage all of us in this room as we leave this place and as we listen to all of the true great testimonies, how they shared their most intimate and personal journeys. Know that you have to go home from here and talk to yourself. Go in the bathroom and look in the mirror and hit the reset button. Write that down. Control, alt, delete. Remember? <laughs> Refocus and revive your spirit. So when we talk about true grit, know that all of you in this room are an example of true grit experiences. Be real. Reach out and help someone find their way, just like Sue Panther helped me find my way. Right now, she's in Florida suffering with Alzheimer's. I call her husband and I check in with her. Both of my children graduated from college. I in Bloomington. Forty-one the other day, I said, I know you're not forty-one. I'm forty. <laughs> you're talking about my youngest daughter graduated from IEPUI with a degree in electrical engineering. I live in Gary. Sometimes Gary, Indiana, is a bad rap, but I want you to go home and tell your people that you met Dr. Vanessa Allen McLeod, who lives in Gary. So I'm just thankful that as strong women, we never give up. We may need a coffee break, a cry, a day in bed, just for a little while, but we always come back stronger. Ladies, you have three minutes to fall on the floor and cry and fall at the mouth, whatever you need to do. <laughs> then you need to get yourself up off the floor because you have work to do. Dry your tears. Take care of yourself. See a therapist. Get a manicure, pedicure, a massage. Yeah. Just because you deserve it. Yeah. Forgive yourself. We're not perfect. We're not perfect parents. There's no perfect family. So take another chance on love. I did. I married in my 50s. Did I say 50? I'm sorry. But anyway, <laughs> look, Kay just got married, what, last month. Take another chance on love. <laughs> Remember, today there is only one beautiful you. So embrace yourself. You are energizing. You are intelligent. You are beautiful. You are caring. You are brave. You have so much to offer. Make sure that you reignite your passion and live on purpose. Tell your neighbor, I'm coming out. Tell them, I'm coming, I'm coming out. out. 
Thank you.